Hello beautiful people, it's Rubia, hope you're all doing well. So, a little bit of an interesting one today. Before the lockdown, I believe it was the Guitar Summit in Germany, Neural DSP were there, I was there doing a masterclass, and I was hanging at the Neural DSP booth, and they were sharing a booth with Hapas Guitars, which is a very small guitar brand based in Berlin, Germany. I think it's run by four people, so it's really, really small. They had their guitars there, and we were having a little mess around, and my very good friend Pancho, from Neural DSP, owns a couple of them, and he was always speaking very highly of them. I tried them, and they're really nice. What do you expect when you're talking about, you know, like hand-built custom shop guitars? Hapas is definitely aimed in the kind of heavy metal guitar playing stuff, death metal, all the rest of it. That's the kind of brand. Fast forward to shortly after I'd announced leaving Chapman Guitars, I got a message from Hapas saying, hey, you know, we've got some time to build something now. We've been backed up with orders. I said, yeah, that'd be really cool. I really like the Judge, kind of an offset double cut guitar. Having left Chapman, I was thinking, you know, I don't really own many other baritones other than the Gretsch, which is hung on the wall over there, which is a very specific type of baritone. So I thought it'd be cool to get a baritone. And now fast forward, like, I don't know, it's like a year or even like a year and a half later, we got chatting again over Instagram, like, great news, the guitar's like ready, you know, we can send it over. We've been so backed up with orders, which is a great problem to have, but you know, if you're still up for doing some stuff, like, we'd be more than happy to send it over. So. Here is the guitar. It arrived. I haven't opened it yet, so this is going to be like an unboxing and we'll have some initial tones and thoughts and stuff over the guitar. But I wanted to give you that little bit of backstory because, you know, it's been a long time coming and being completely honest, I'd forgotten that this was a thing, but it's happening now and it's cool, so let's check it out. And for all those that might be commenting, oh, you know, you're a music man artist and you're playing all these other guitars and all that kind of stuff, because I've seen comments like that, at the end of the day, what I do on YouTube is part of what I do as my sort of job, or if you want to call it that. Something that I've spoken about with the guys at Music Man in the past. Obviously, my preferred guitars and what I choose to play live and in you know music videos and all that kind of stuff is my artist model Sabre and my Axis Baritone and all that kind of stuff because I love Music Man and I'm proud to represent them. However, you know, when it comes to trying out different guitars and I have a lot of different guitars, different brands, I know where I stand with every everybody and I'm proud to be a Music Man artist and I am still proud to check out other people's guitars and play them. The Judge is a kind of offset double cut guitar. I asked for it in black uh, with some black and gold accents because I'm a fan of black and gold as a color combination. They wind their own pickups, which is really cool. This is the case that it comes in. So gator cases. Ooh. <laughs> Even black tissue to, to keep it nice and... Oh, it's smaller than I thought it would be. I'm just going to tear this like this. All right. So here we have it. This is the Hapus Judge 27 and a half scale beast, double humbuckers. And that's a really nice top, as you can see. I'm pretty sure this is ash. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. You can see we've got a spoon cut on the back good upper fret access. It's a really good weight, coil split, three-way switch. And the neck profile is fairly slim. The fret work is fantastic. These look like medium jumbo frets. And I'm gonna say that's a rich light fretboard. So it's like a composite material. And we've got double humbuckers with the gold accents, we've got a hip shot bridge with gold saddles, which is something I asked for. And again, we've got hip shot tuners with black buttons and gold pegs, which looks really nice. And a cool, very cool headstock with a nice truss rod cover. Yeah, man, we should plug it in and check it out and see how it sounds.
Okay, so I've had a little go with this beast through my plug-in, just messing around, riffing, just getting to know the guitar a little bit. Uh, I definitely want to put this through my stereo rig downstairs. I'll do that in a separate video. First thing I will say is, like you will find with a lot of these hand-built custom shop guitars, is the build quality is really damn good. The fret work, I keep saying, is fantastic. It's a really good weight, and it's basically a riff machine. That's what this guitar is. It's, it's an absolute riff machine. The pickups are hot. You've got a coil split, so you can combat that a little bit if that's what you're looking for, but my guess is that most people buying these guitars aren't going to be playing mid-gain push clean ambient stuff like I do. I'm massively grateful to the guys at Hapas for sending this over and considering how long ago we started talking about this, uh, it's just really cool that it's finally here and I love the way it looks. Um, I think it's a great shape, great design, I love the headstock shape. It's a really cool looking guitar. I'm looking forward to getting to know this a little bit more. It'll definitely get used on recordings. Um, obviously with Vower, we use baritone guitars, so it's gonna be nice to have different baritone options. I might swap the pickups out. I might put my bare knuckles in there because I love the sound of my silos. But overall, um, I would say that this is a really well-built riff machine. And if you're into heavy music and you're into the aesthetic of Hap Hapas guitars, and um, you know, you've got a bit of money to spend when it comes to you know like hand-built custom shop stuff, then I'll put a link in the description box and you can check them out for yourself. They do lots of different shapes, different scale lengths, different string amounts. This is a six string, but they do sevens and eights, I believe. You know, it's another option to look at when it comes to purchasing a new guitar. I'm gonna do another video of this downstairs on my stereo rig, and you'll probably see it popping up on Instagram and, and places like that. But yes, I just wanna to say to Powell and the guys at Hapas, thank you for, uh, for this finally coming through. I think that's really cool and I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching this unboxing and first impressions tones video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the description box below. I'll put links to my merch and my music and links to Hapas guitars in the description box as well. But thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe and share. I've been Rabia and I will see you all very soon.